How would you like to be a first generation cash flow millionaire? Every year you got seven figures coming. Boom, boom. For some of you out there, you say, I'm sick and tired of getting a job and then wondering the next three, four, five years if I'm gonna stay there. The average person in America can't even purchase the average home. Do you want to be average? Coming from the military, I used to make $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marines. It's not a lot of cash flow. So, so some of the things that will keep you down in terms of low income, in terms of low cash flow, a few things, some of your enemies. You don't improve your skills. You got skills that anybody else can do. Uh, you don't have the right type of education or certification or knowledge or apprenticeship to increase what you get paid. And you don't have a system working on your behalf. So how do you fix that? So here's some of the things you fix. To improve your skills. One of the things I learned how to do is I learned sales. And was it a car dealership? Guess where I learned sales? I learned sales at a restaurant. I learned sales at Jiffy Loop. How? When Jiffy Loop hood technician job presented me the opportunity to present the, the data from a, somebody's car, uh, car report to present to the customer what they need to improve, their air filter, their rear differential fluid, their transmission fluid, uh, PCV valve, windshield wipers, right? Additional services I can sell on top of your normal old change at Jiffy Loop. Guess what I, I started learning how to do? I learned how to upsell. I learned how to sell. When I worked as an Olive Garden server, when I came out with two bottles, hey, good evening, ma'am or sir, right, whatever. Uh, would you like to start off tonight with a bottle of wine? I'd sell the house wine. Our job as a server is to sell wine, alcohol, liquor, appetizer, full entree, dessert. That's what we called a full ticket. Because the higher the ticket, guess what is increased to as well? The higher your tips. So I learned sales through Jiffy Lube, and I learned sales through being a server at a restaurant, at an Olive Garden. And guess what I learned how to do? I learned to improve those skills. I learned how to communicate. I learned how to persuade. I learned how to expose a problem and then create a solution or find a way to make somebody's life better. That's the way you improve your skills. So therefore, if you improve those skills, guess what? In exchange, you have the opportunity to get paid better. I learned how to improve my communication. I learned how to speak better. I learned how to look at somebody eye to eye. I learned how to make sure I was convicted about what I was selling. It's improving your skills. I learned the ethics and morals about what I stood for. That's improving your skills and the, the mindset of how you deliver your message. Systems. Systems is a short acronym for save yourself, time, energy, and money. Systems. So if I'm presented with the same issue over and over and over again, how do I teach somebody else to do the same thing? How do I duplicate the way I solve that problem into somebody else? So therefore, I can focus on the main thing by improving my skills and having other people creating jobs, creating other opportunities to teach other people to do the same thing too as well. This is how the military gets 18, 19, 20 year olds to fix multi-million dollar machines. This is how the military recruits kids from college to recruit them into the Naval Academy, the Air Force, uh, the Air Force Academy, the, the uh, West Point, to recruit them to serve the military, to handle these multi-million, multi-billion dollar machines and weapons why? Through systems and standard operating procedures. So they take something that's complex and they find a way to make it very simple. I remember being in the military. Every time we fly in a helicopter, we had a pre-flight checklist, in-flight checklist, post-flight checklist. So it's not an example of systems. The same thing can happen to your cash flow. What's your system in making money outside clocking in, clocking out? How do you improve your systems? How do you, last but not least here in this category, evolve? In a previous video, we talked about how to earn income, how to have passive income, how to have portfolio income. Start to expand your ways and methodology of making money outside of just clocking in, clocking out, which is what 90% of people in America do. And what we just exposed, that the average person in America can't even purchase the average home. Do you want to be average? Or do you want to be part of the 18.4 million people in America that has a net worth or wealth that exceeds a million dollars? Or even better yet, how would you like to be a first generation cash flow Million every year, you got seven figures coming. Boom, boom, boom. Listen, I'm gonna show you a quick story. When I learned sales, I, le I got involved in the insurance industry. And guess what I became? I became a sales leader. Here's a picture of me becoming the number one producer out of 25,000 licensed agents. I was a 130, 140% commission contract. And guess what I learned how to do with that 130%, 140% contract? I learned how to create, and create, create systems, take those same systems and how I sold term insurance and how I sold index universal life insurance and how I sold annuities and I did my seminars and how I bought leads. I taught that to my guys. I became a great sales manager. But guess what happened to that system though? My best people started leaving me. You know why? Because they find other opportunities to get the same contract somewhere else because those type of contracts, I learned how to be a manager, but I didn't learn how to retain. 
And then I created even better systems on how do I really scale but keep my best people. And then I started becoming a business owner. Then I created those, those systems and the process and started creating company culture. And then I started having larger and larger conversations and eventually become a CEO of your own brand, CEO of your own operation. That's an evolution. So you, oftentimes people say, man, just because I go to Vistaprint, I can print out a business card and I put CEO in the title, that makes me a CEO. Ah, wrong. You've got to evolve. And that takes time. And how to accelerate that is having somebody in your corner, like a mentor, somebody that's been there, done that. There's a lot of resources out there. If you go look for them, just can't uh, email one or two people, say, hey, uh, I want you to mentor me. No, no. Here's how you can mentor me. This is the benefit of you mentor me. And then when you mentor me, here's, here's what's in it for you, mentor. Because I want to learn from you. For example, the gentleman shooting this video right now, his name is Ivan. Let me, let, me, let me take this video real quick. Here's Ivan. Say hi, Ivan. Hold on, let me take this camera. This is Ivan. <laughs> hi, Ivan. Right? So he, 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 comes, he, he, comes, he comes to me. We're, we're doing this like impromptu, right? So he comes to me. He said, Matt, I just want to work for you. I'm going to Columbia College right now. I want to just shoot some photos for you. Anyway, he worked himself into a job. Now he's working here full time. That's Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Okay? So that's how you evolve from becoming a sales leader to a sales manager, business owner to a CEO. It happens not overnight, but over time. But listen, if you say you can accomplish it in the next one, three, five, seven, ten years, and your life starts to change for the rest of your life for the better, is that considered an overnight success? I don't know. You tell me. It's your definition. All I'm saying is this. If you just depend on a job, Nine to five, that type of mentality. Listen, earlier this week, we were talking to a high-level corporate executive. She's a C-suite, sharp young lady, sharp, in her early 40s. Got to a level of, of C-suite, you know, chief this or chief that, you know what I'm talking about, C-suite. She goes, man, I just helped my company sell a multi-billion dollar acquisition to another company, okay? And I still feel like number 4,001 employee. This is a, somebody from the C-suite, somebody that's up there that people, we have VPs reporting to her and mid middle managers reporting to them. But still she felt unfulfilled because it was a job. She just felt like an employee. Now, with that being said, she wanted to tackle the next big thing. She wanted to evolve. She wanted to grow. She wanted to become a first generation cash flow millionaire. And these are the things that entrepreneurship and the evolution of somebody started to materialize. And for some of you out there that's watching this right now, you say, I'm sick and tired of getting a job and then wondering the next three, four, five years if I'm going to stay there. I'm, I'm sick and tired of having a job. I'm like this all the time. Boom, boom, boom. Want to be employed? I just signed a five, six-year uh, car loan. I just signed for a 20, 30-year, 15, 20, 30-year mortgage. I just sent my kid to college. And I got boom, boom, boom. Look over my shoulder to see if I have a job, to see if I have job security, so therefore I can pay the obligations I just signed up for. It's up to you to evolve. And that's, that's a focus point for many of you in 2020 and going forward. Do you depend on you? Do you depend on somebody else to say you're an essential business? Do you depend on somebody else to say you can be open or closed? Or do you want to be able to operate this regardless of what's going on in the economy and you start making money, cash flow? In an interview, how many of you guys know 50 Cent? How many of you guys seen his show Power on Stars? Okay? Everybody know 50 Cent. He said this. You're not making money until you're making money when you're not working. Mm. I didn't make no money when I didn't do a show. You see what I'm saying? I had to work to get the money every time. When I'm not in the show and the show is still, they going, how you keep yourself off your own show? Oh, they don't understand that. Right. I'm like, cause this is going on automatic pilot. <laughs>